Hi friends, it's me, Allison Kaplan, Director of Education here at the National First Ladies Library in Canton, Ohio. And today we are outside because we're celebrating a woman in a science career named Maria Talkas, who was considered the Sun Queen. She's a physical chemist and biophysicist who dedicated her career to harnessing the sun's energy. And she actually invented the first successful solar powered heating system. She felt that, quote, sunlight will be used as a source of energy sooner or later, so why wait? She was born in 1900 in Hungary, and she studied at the University of Budapest, where she got her doctorate in physical chemistry. And then she traveled to Cleveland, Ohio, where she worked at the Cleveland Clinic, and then she went on to Westinghouse Electric. In 1937, she actually joined the Solar Energy Conversion Project not long after she became a U.S. citizen, and she developed the Dover House, which was a solar-powered house, and it was completely women-built. So it was funded by a woman, there was a woman architect, and Maria was a scientist behind making the house warm using solar power. So it was kind of considered the Model T of solar houses. And what the Dover House did was it stored solar energy in salt called globber salt. And the salt melted about 90 degrees Fahrenheit and stores the heat seven times the efficiency of water heating up. So it seemed to be a really good way to heat the house. The house had 18 windows with panels of glass and metal to soak up the sun's warmth, capturing heat, and then that heat traveled to storage bins of salt. On sunny days, the salt melted and absorbed the heat and helped to cool the house. Um, and then when it got warm um, or cool, it would recrystallize and give off the stored heat. Um, she also developed a way to make seawater drinkable for soldiers in World War II. And we're out here with our pizza box solar oven because she actually helped develop a solar oven. So here she is. And what we did here was we took a regular old pizza box and we cut a flap out about an inch around. So this piece came up and we covered this in foil. That's going to absorb the heat and kick it down to our s'mores here. We've got black paper on the inside and then we took saran wrap on each side and taped it in. And then you can use styrofoam or wadded up newspaper to help create an, in, an insulation in this space. So this actually, the captures the sun's energy, shoots it down and holds it in the oven space. And the black also helps absorb up the heat. So you can see my s'mores are melting here. And if you have a small mirror, you can actually add the mirror too to help get the sun's rays. So it's actually a pretty cool day out, but it's still melting very slowly and carefully my s'more. So it's a pretty cool project, and I was really, really impressed to hear about Maria Talcas. I never heard of her before, and it's so cool that a woman was one of the very first people to harness the sun's rays for solar energy. Um, she was eventually admitted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame, and she is really revered as being a pioneer in the science field. So I hope that you um, make us some more or make your own oven out of pizza box. You can use a shoe box too and soak up the sun. Thanks so much for joining us.